Hi, my name's Emily and welcome to Sea Creek Parents. In today's video, I'm super excited to share how to crochet this adorable little starfish. So this starfish is actually a really quick pattern to make and it is actually a no-sew pattern too. So um, everything that you do is crocheted on, so there's no sewing that you have to, so no parts that you have to sew on. Um, a couple of things I want to mention about this pattern is that this is an absolutely amazing pattern for if you're trying to use up some scraps of different colors of yarn. Um, I had a little leftover um, scrap ball of yarn that I used for this um, starfish and it worked great. In fact, um, the color, the ball of yarn actually changed colors and so I didn't realize it but on the back side then I just decided to make it purple because that's what the color of yarn changed to. So the front is pink and the back is purple and then I did a really fun little accent color around the edge and for the little dots in the center. Um, but you can do all kinds of different colors. So for this one I did a teal color with blue accents and then I did a little bit of a different design on the front. Um, so you can do it however you like and then here's another blue one. And so yeah, um, two things I want to mention before we jump into the tutorial is number one, you can adjust the playback speed. If So if at any point in the video I'm talking too fast or too slow, you can adjust the playback speed by clicking the little settings gear icon in the um, bottom right corner of the video, then click playback speed, and then you can either adjust the speed so I either talk faster or slower. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that I'll have the link to both the ad-free PDF and the blog post that is coming soon in the description box down below. So you can check the description box for those links and any other things I mentioned in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump in. some Bernat blanket yarn and this yarn I'm not exactly sure what the color is but I'll put a link in the description box down below I'm hoping this will be enough yarn but we will see um, and then you also need some yarn for your edging and I'm thinking I'll use this although I might change my mind later and use a cream yarn um, but I'll put links to both of these in the description box down below then you'll need some stuffing, of course, to stuff the body and arms of your starfish. You'll need um, scissors, and I'm just using regular scissors. You'll need a stitch marker, and I will put a link down below to my favorite stitch markers, um, but they are Clover and Moore stitch markers. They are absolutely amazing um, compared to any other brands I've ever tried. So make sure to consider getting Clover and Moore stitch markers. Then you'll need a darning needle, and um, this one is has a really nice and large eye, which I really love. Then you'll also need a seven millimeter crochet hook, and this is a Clover Moore brand crochet hook, which um, I absolutely love. I love the Clover Moore brand crochet hooks, um, and I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I absolutely love their hooks. Anyway, um, and then one thing I wanted to mention is that this um, hook got a little bit discolored from some black yarn that I was using a while back so uh, please forgive the little bit of discoloration in the hook. Okay so to begin we are going to begin by making the bottom panel of so here's the starfish we're going to make the back panel of the starfish first and then we're going to make the front panel then we're going to do some of the details and then we're going to crochet the panels together. So this um, pattern is 100% no sew. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and begin with the back panel. And you'll want to begin by using whatever color you want to be your main color. So for me, that is this really pretty pink color of yarn. So I'm going to grab my pink yarn and I'm going to grab my 7mm hook. And to begin, we are going to make a magic circle. So to make a magic circle, you're going to put the yarn at the base of your hand. Then you're going to wrap the yarn around going to the front and then going to the back. So like make an X shape. So you can see there's the tail 
we wrapped it around making an X shape and now you're going to flip that yarn to the so flip that flip your hand over to the top and you're going to go under that first loop and grab that second loop and you're going to go ahead and pinch and hold and then now you're going to go ahead and I prefer to chain one just to secure it but some crocheters prefer to do no chain and just begin um, working in the round so you can do whatever you prefer and now we're going to go ahead and single crochet six into this magic ring so to make a single crochet you're going to insert your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook so you're going to continue that so six more times so insert again, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through all two loops. And so now you're just going to continue that six more, t a total of six times. So we've done three, and I'm going to just go ahead and do that for five and six. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to go ahead and pull on this tail, and that should close your magic circle. So you're going to go ahead and pull, there you go, and we are going to begin round number two. So for round number two, you're going to single crochet increase in each of the stitches. So you're just going to begin by working into that very first stitch, so you're going to insert your hook into that top of that first stitch that we did for round number one, you're going to yarn over and pull through you're going to yarn over and pull through two. So that's just another single crochet. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my stitch marker into that first stitch of the round. And now you're going to do one more single crochet into that same stitch. So insert again into that same stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull through. And yarn over and pull through two. So basically you're just doing two single crochets into one stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that in each of the stitches around. So insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over pull through two, and you're going to do that then into the same stitch again. So insert, yarn over pull through, and yarn over pull through two. So you're going to just single crochet two into each stitch around, and you should end up with um, 12 stitches. So you can see there we go. Um, Just single crocheting, increasing into each of these stitches. So there we go. Now we should have 12 stitches, so I'm just going to do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now you're going to put the loop back on your hook and tighten that. Okay, so now for round number 3, you're going to do a single crochet into the very first stitch. So single crochet into that first stitch where your stitch marker is. Move your stitch marker up, there we go, and now you're going to do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. So that means just two single crochets into that next stitch, and you're going to repeat that, repeat six times. So you're going to single crochet, incre single crochet in the first stitch, then single crochet increase in the next stitch, repeat that six times. So single crochet into the next stitch, and then you're going to single crochet increase into the next stitch. So just single crochet, single crochet increase, repeat that six times or until you're done with the end of this round. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will meet you back. All right, so you can see that I just finished round number three and to count the rounds, it's a little bit tough with this yarn, but you can see there's kind of the first, you can kind of feel it. There's number one, there's about number one, number two, and number three. So now you should have 18 stitches at the end of round number three. And we are going to continue on to round number four by making um, a single crochet into the first two stitches. So you're just going to make a single crochet into that first stitch. Move your stitch marker. And then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch too. So single crochet in the first stitch and then the next stitch. And then you're going to single crochet increase into the next stitch. So single crochet in the first two stitches and then increase in the next stitch. And you're just going to repeat that in each stitch around. So you're going to single crochet into the next two stitches now. And you're going to single crochet increase into that next stitch. So 
You're going to repeat that repeat of single crochet in the first two stitches and then single crochet increase in the next stitch um, six times and I will go ahead and complete round number four and I will meet you back. Alrighty, so I just finished round number four and you should have a total of 24 stitches. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to begin to starting the arms. So if you can see I can lay that out and that is what it should look like. It will curl a little bit, don't worry about that. When we stuff it, it will just lay perfectly flat. So let me show you this starfish. So we did those four rounds and now we're going to go ahead and start doing each of these little arms. So that is what we're going to begin doing. So to begin the arms, you're just going to single crochet into the first four stitches. So you're going to go ahead and in single crochet where that stitch marker is. Then move your stitch marker up if you want. You don't have to because at this point we're just going to be working in rows. So for row number one, you just put the single crochet in that first stitch and then you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So a total of four. So sorry, I'm not sure if I'm making sense. Single crochet in that first stitch of the round and then you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. Now you're going to go ahead and chain one and turn your work and now we're going to go ahead and work back into those four stitches. So we're going to do um, a, a single crochet decrease over both of these stitches. So you're going to insert your hook, then you're going to yarn over and pull through, then you're going to insert your hook into that next stitch, so right there, yarn over pull through. You should have three loops on your hook and now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So now you're going to do that one more time for the remaining two stitches. So you're going to insert your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through, you're going to insert your hook into that next stitch, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So like that. Now we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And for rows three through five, you're just going to single crochet into each of those stitches. So single crochet in that first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch, and you should obviously have two stitches. So you're going to go ahead and chain one, turn your work, and you're going to do that for row number, this is row number four now, then chain one, turn your work, and row number five you're just going to single crochet into each of those two stitches. So now you can see, if you count from this side it will be a little bit more confusing to count how many rows you've done. but from this side, it will be a little easier. So you've done one, two, three, four, and five rows. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to chain one and turn our work. And for row number six, you're going to decrease over those two stitches. So you're going to make one decrease. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now if you're struggling with any of these stitches that I'm showing you how to do, feel free to look up um, a YouTube tutorial for how to do um, any of these specific stitches and there will be um, a really good tutorial that you can watch if you're struggling and need more help with any of these stitches. So now for row number seven, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're just going to single crochet into that one stitch. So super basic row. So now we finished um, arm number one. We're going to go ahead and cut our yarn. And I don't leave myself a very long tail because um, I just like to leave the tails inside of this starfish. So when I crochet the edges together, I just leave the um, tails on the inside. So I don't need to worry too much about um, leaving in the tails. I normally like to make like one little knot and then um, have it on the inside. I'll show you about that. I'll show you that when we get there. So we finish um, arm number one. Now we're going to go ahead and make arm number two. And for arm number two, you're just going to repeat exactly what we did. So row one through seven. And what you're going to do is you're going to, um, so you can see we worked out of this stitch. 
right there. You're going to skip one stitch and insert your hook into that next stitch. So you should have one stitch between each of these arms, except for the last one. The last one we don't, we won't have a stitch between, but I'll show you that when we get there. So now you're going to go ahead and grab your yarn, and you're just going to have the yarn kind of laying like that. So the tail on this side and the working yarn on over your hand. And you're just going to go ahead and yarn over and pull through. Now you're going to go ahead and chain one and you're going to begin working um, rows one through seven. So you're going to single crochet into the first four stitches for row number one and you're going to single crochet into that very first stitch. So if I go back I'll show you that a little bit more clearly. So we did a chain one, which I'll go ahead and do. So we pulled up our yarn through here, we did a chain one, and now you're going to single crochet into that very same stitch. So right into that same stitch, then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch, the next stitch, and the next stitch. So single crochet into the first four stitches. Now you're going to chain one, turn your, um, turn your work, and you're just going to continue with what we've already done. So decrease over each of these two stitches. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and finish um, this arm and the next, um, uh, next couple of arms. And then I will meet you back. So make sure if you, are, if you don't know what to do, just um, go back a little bit. I'll have a little like um, sections in on the bottom of the video and so you can just go back to the beginning of the first arm and watch what I did and then repeat that for each of the next arms. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this arm and then the next few and I'll meet you back. Okie dokie. So you can see that I've done one, two, three, and four. Now for the fifth one what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and skip one stitch. So you can see we worked out with this stitch. You're going to skip that next stitch and you're going to insert your hook into there. So skip one stitch and work into there. And what you're going to do is you're just going to repeat exactly what we did for all of the other legs, except just so you know, you'll notice that when I'm working my four single crochets, so one, two, three, and four, that there's no stitch between these two. So you can see that where I had my stitch marker is where I worked. Um, the first stitch of um, arm number one. And so there's no stitch. So you can see I worked out this stitch and I worked out this stitch. So there's no stitch between it. And that just is naturally how um, this pattern worked up. And I noticed that it didn't, it didn't affect the look at all. It looks very even. And um, so I don't um, worry about that. So go ahead and now finish working on leg arm number five and I will meet you back. All right, so I just finished um, leg number, or arm number five, and this is what it looks like. It's looking super duper cute. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside, and you can go ahead and weave in your tails. Um, let me show you actually how I like to do that. So what I like to do when I weave in my tails is I like to grab this tail, put it onto my darning needle, and then I like to just go, so this is the back side because you can see my magic circles coming out of it and everything. And then this is the front side because you can see that that just looks like the front side of a single crochet. Whereas this does not look like the front side of a single crochet. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and into the back side you're going to make a little knot. So I like to just go under any little stitch I find pull my um, needle through, but hold on to that little loop. Hold on to there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this tail through the little loop that I just created and tighten that. And there you have a little knot. And then all I'm going to do is you can cut this yarn if you want and then just include it in the stuffing later, or you can just leave this tail and um, just crochet when you crochet around the edge just consider this as stuffing. So let me show you one more time how I like to tie in. And I do the same thing for the top. So let me grab this and I'll show you how to do that. 
When I like to, when I um, put the yarn onto my darning needle, I like to lay it over my thumb, and then I push that darning needle onto my thumb nail, grab it, and pull up. There you go. So now all you're going to do is you're just going to go. I'm just going to grab, go through that loop. There we go. And then now I'm just going to grab a little loop, and as I'm pulling my tail through, I'm just going to hold my thumb around the loop, grab the tail, and tighten. But you can, of course, uh, tie off however you prefer, but this is just the preferred method that I use, um, and it has worked really well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish weaving in all these tails, and then I'll meet you back and we'll continue on to the top panel. All right, so I decided to just cut off the yarn when I weaved in my tails. Um, just because it looks a little more neat, especially for this tutorial, but you can do it however you want. So now that we have the bottom panel done, we're just going to set this aside, and we're going to go ahead and start working on the top panel. So we're basically going to do almost the exact same thing for the top panel that we did for the bottom panel. We're just going to make it a little bit bigger. So to begin, we're going to put the yarn at the base of your fingers. Then you're just going to make, so you're making a magic circle again. So you're going to wrap the yarn around going to the front, wrap the yarn around going to the back, flip your um, hand over, grab the, uh, go under the, uh, the first loop and grab that second loop, pull that up, pinch and hold, release your fingers. And I like to unwrap it, but you can do it however you want. And then you're just going to Hold on to that with your finger in there and chain one. I like to chain one, you don't have to chain one, it's totally optional. So now you're going to do six single crochet into this magic ring and because you did the bottom panel you should know how to do single crochets. So four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you're going to pull on that magic circle um, end to close that magic circle and sometimes it gets a little stuck just pull on it gently because you don't want to break the yarn um, ask me how I know you can break the yarn <laughs> I've had that happen many times so um, now we're done with round number one for round number two you're just going to do the exact same thing that we did for the bottom panel so you're going to single crochet increase into each stitch around. So I'm going to go ahead and begin working into round number two. Grab my stitch marker. Oh, here's my stitch marker. So single crochet increase in each stitch around and I'm going to go ahead and finish this round and I'll meet you back. All right, so I just finished round number two and for round number three you're just going to do the exact same thing you did for the bottom panel. So you're going to single crochet into the very first stitch move your stitch marker and then you're going to single crochet increase into the next stitch and that is the repeat that you'll follow for um, a total, total of six times um, or until you're to the end of round number three so you're going to single crochet increase in the next stitch single crochet increase into the next stitch so single crochet then single crochet increase repeat that total of six times and you should have 12 stitches, or sorry, 18 stitches when you're done with round number three. And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you back. All right, so I just finished round number three and I have 18 stitches. Now for round number four, you're gonna go ahead and single crochet into the very first two stitches. So I'm gonna move my stitch marker. And then you're gonna single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to increase into the next stitch. So single crochet into the first two stitches and then increase into the next stitch. And you're just going to go ahead and repeat that. Um, so two sing single crochet in the first two stitches, then increase. You're going to repeat that six times or until you're done with round number four. And I'm going to go ahead and finish round number four and I'll meet you back. All right, so I just finished um, round number four, and you should have 24 stitches. Now for round number five, and just a quick note, on this back panel, we did not do round number five. We just did four rounds, and then we made the arms. So 
we are going to do a round number five for the front panel um, to make it a little bit bigger so that um, it will have kind of the realist, realistic um, leaning back look that a starfish actually has. So we are going to go ahead and continue on to round number five. So for round number five, you're going to single crochet in, in the first three stitches. So single crochet into the very first three stitches. I'm going to move my stitch marker. There we go. And then single crochet into the next two stitches. So a total of single crochet into the first three stitches and then single crochet increase into the next stitch. And that is the repeat you'll follow a total of six times and you will be done with um, round number five after six times. So single crochet into the very into the next three stitches and then increase into the next stitch. Um, so you'll go ahead and repeat that six times and you should end up with 30 stitches and I'll meet you back. All right, so I finished round number five and you should have 30 stitches. Now for, um, now we're gonna begin the arms. So you'll begin right here into the first stitch. So we're gonna begin by making um, a single crochet into the first five stitches. So single crochet into the first five stitches. I'm just gonna move my stitch marker just um, for fun. <laughs> so single crochet into the first five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna go ahead and chain one, turn your work, and for row number two, you're going to uh, single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. Then you're going to single crochet, and then you're going to decrease. So to make a decrease, you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. So then now you're going to single crochet into that next stitch, and then you're going to decrease over the last two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to go ahead, chain one, turn your work, and for rows three through five, you're going to single crochet in each stitch. So for the next three rows, you're going to just chain one, turn, single crochet in each stitch. And I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick on camera with you all. Chain one and turn. So there we go. And um, so you can see we did um, so far five rows. One, two, three, four, and five. So I just finished those three rows of single crochet across. And you should have three stitches, obviously. Now you're going to go ahead and chain one. Turn your work. And you're going to single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet decrease, single crochet. Now you'll have two stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're going to single crochet in each of those two stitches. So like that. Now you're going to chain one, turn your work. And for row eight, you're going to single crochet decrease over those two stitches. So insert, yarn pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn pull through, yarn pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is arm number one. So we're going to go ahead and cut our yarn and tie off. Now you're just going to repeat all that we did for arm one on all the other arms. So. You can see that this is the front of our work. This is the back of our work where our magic circle tail is. You're going to skip that next single crochet just like we did on the bottom panel. So skip the next single crochet and go into the following single crochet. So you can see we worked into that stitch. We skipped one stitch and we're going to work into that next stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and pull through. Yeah chain one and you're just going to um, complete exactly what you did for the first arm. So you're going to single crochet into the first five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to single chain one, turn your work, and single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. 
single crochet in the next stitch, and then single crochet decrease. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, work these next couple of arms, and then I'll meet you back. All right, so as you can see, I finished um, the top panel. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that for this last, um, for this last uh, arm, there will be a space between the last arm and the first arm. Um, that's just at least how mine turned out. If yours, if you had like one less or one more stitch, don't worry about it. Um, if you, so I'm saying if you have, if you don't have one stitch between the last arm and first arm, don't worry about it. Um, it'll just be the, like the same as the bottom panel then. So don't worry either way. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to add some of the details. So let me show you what your options are like. And you can do whatever, you can get as creative as you like. But these are the details that I'm going to do around my um, little st uh, starfish. Um, but you can do also something like this where you do lines going up and then a little lines at the center and then little dots around the edge. So you can really do this however you prefer. So I'm going to do five dots um, around between my um, arms. And so I'm going to go ahead and first show you how to do that. So you're going to grab your top panel and you're going to grab your seven millimeter hook of course and then you're going to grab your accent color. Now for each of these, as you can see, I used the same color that I was going to use for the edging around. It's totally up to you though, but you can see that I used this um, teal and then did the teal around the edge, but you can do whatever you prefer. So to make the little, um, the little dots, what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook. So let's see, this is round number one, two, three, four, and five. And what you're going to do is you're going to, for the dots, you're going to attach your hook to round four. So this is round five, this is round four. And I'm just going to attach my hook to the one that's the most centered with, uh, between the stitches. So that's about the closest I'm going to get. Yeah, the other one is kind of far off, so I'm going to call that one good. So you're going to put your hook around that, and this is the front side of your work. Um, these are the front of the single crochets and then these are the back where all your tails are at. So your front side of your work, top panel, put your hook around um, and on round number four put your hook around the middle between the arms. Now my yarn is color changing and so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to join my yarn from the top right when the orange begins. But you can, obviously, if you're using a non-color changing yarn, it'll be a little easier. But I'm going to go ahead and join in the yarn from the top. So here's my tail, here's my working yarn. I'm going to go ahead and pull through. Then I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work right back into where we just worked. So I'm going to insert my hook again. And you can see I'm going to come out that same side. I'm going to yarn over and pull through, and then pull through. And that is just simply a slip stitch. So it's like a surface crochet slip stitch. You're going to go ahead and cut your yarn. So I'm going to grab my scissors, and like that. I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and pull through. Tighten that. And now you have your first little um, dot. Now what I like to do is I'm going to just grab this tail that I just used to tie off and I'm just going to put on my darning needle and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it, pull it to the back side of my work. So just where I just about where I tied off, I'm just going to pull that down so that will be hidden. And you can see that makes it look a little bit more neat. There we go. And then I'm going to grab this other tail and you want to make sure it's not super floppy, which it seems like it's really nice already. So I'm just going to go ahead and go down from where that came out of. And then on the back side, all I like to do, and if you watched any of my tutorials before, you know that this is my favorite little trick. I like to just make a tie a little knot with these two uh, strings. So just one. You don't want to pull too tight that it disappears, but you want to pull it a little bit tight. 
one and then two knots, just regular, basic, simple knots. So there we go, there is number dot number one. Now I'm just gonna do that exact same thing for each of the, or between each of the arms. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll meet you back. I'm sorry, one thing I just noticed now is for this starfish, you can see that I did the dots lining up with the arms. Now for this starfish, you can see that I did the dots right between the arms. So you can do whatever you want. Um, and the same exact thing would apply. So if you want to do it between the arms, you do exactly what I just showed you. But then if you want to do it uh, like between in the middle of them, you're just going to go up to round four. You're going to do the exact same thing. So you're going to put your hook around the center most um, stitch and just complete exactly what I just taught you to do. So you can either do it in the center between in the middle of your arms or you can do it between the two arms. So totally up to you. Um, I'm probably going to do it in the middle um, because I noticed that that shows a little bit more than when you do it around the edge. But either way, all right, so you can see that I finished these um, little dots. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the little lines going up. Whoop, wait one second, there we go. Here's these little lines. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, you no, know, at this point, you can do a 4.5 millimeter, do these little lines with a 4.5 millimeter hook or with a seven millimeter hook. I personally, I think for this one, used a 4.5 millimeter hook. But then in my pattern, I wrote down that I used a seven millimeter hook. So you can do whatever um, hook size you want. I'm gonna show with a seven millimeter hook for um, ease in this video because it's a little bit easier to, um, it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see. But if you want to make it a little bit smaller, if your seven millimeter hook lines turn out a little bit um, big, you can always try using a 4.5 millimeter hook and they'll turn out a little bit narrower. Um, and you'll just do a couple more stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it with the seven millimeter hook. So to begin, you're gonna find row number two of the arms. So here's row one of the arms and row number two. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your hook into row number two. And you're gonna find about the center. So for me, that's one, two, it's in the third, second stitch over. So one, two, and three in the second stitch over. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your yarn from the back side. So this is the back with all the tails. You're gonna go ahead and grab your yarn, so yarn over and pull through. And now we're gonna begin um, doing a surface crochet slip stitch working up. So you're going to insert then into row number three. You're gonna grab, so you're at the bottom of your work now, yarn over and pull through and then pull through. So that's like a slip stitch, but a surface crochet slip stitch. Then you're gonna insert into the next row, go to the bottom, yarn over, pull through. And now you're gonna yarn over and pull, or sorry, just pull through. So insert your hook into the next row. And then you're from the back, you're gonna yarn over, pull through, and then you're gonna pull through from the front side. And then I'm gonna do one more. So from rows two on your arm through row seven is what I did for here. And it depends, if you're using a smaller hook, you'll need to do a couple more stitches. If you're using a bigger hook, you'll do a couple less stitches. But from rows two through seven is what I did for this little um, line. So that is what you'll do. So it'll look something like this when you're done. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the little center lines. So what you do for the center lines is you're gonna start between round one and two. So um, let's see on here, you can see that I started at the base of row round two. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my hook at the base of round number two. So like right there. So you can see there's row number one. I'm gonna insert my hook at the base of round number two or at the end of round number one. I'm going to go to the back. You can see I have tons of tails. You're going to yarn over, or you're gonna lay the yarn over your hook, so like that. 
and you're going to pull through and then you're just going to do the exact same thing so you're going to work up and you're going to um, work from round basically one to up to um, round number three so you're going to go round one to round two that was round one to one to two and then round two to three and then you can go ahead and cut your yarn and that is done so now note that when I did this one I did the dots remember between the legs instead of in the middle so that's why otherwise they're almost touching but if you have the dots over here then they won't be touching so that is what you do for these little lines and now we're going to go ahead and begin um, doing the edging around so we're going to crochet both the front and back panels together so let's go ahead and begin doing that now just a little note I had that remember how I had that like about the size of ball of yarn that I said I hope would be enough yarn well it was um, well I even had a little bit of yarn left over so I had this much yarn left over but what I didn't know is that this yarn is actually color changing so um, the pink changed into purple so I decided I ran out of the pink a little bit it was all in the same ball but I ran out of pink for both the front and back panels so I decided to make an all back all purple back panel so I have a purple back panel and pink front panel so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what to do now and we will close off these two panels so what you're going to do is you're going to have the back the wrong side of your starfish facing you so the side with all these tails so if you look here is the right side you can see there's those nice neat looking single crochets so you, when you flip it to the back this is the wrong side with all your tails and then you're going to grab the right side of your work so this is the back side we don't want the back side we want the back side of both of our um, panels facing each other so they're going to be smushed inside by the front side of the top panel and the front side of the bottom panel so hopefully that makes sense so um, wrong side facing up wrong side facing down and you're going to place them on top of each other now you're going to grab your edging yarn and for me this is that variegated yarn that we just used for these little dots I like to start where I um, began round number one it really doesn't matter but where I began uh, row where I began the first leg on the front panel and then where I began the first leg on the back panel but really does not matter at all so I'm just going to insert my hook at the base and this is you can see whoop there we go so this is the base of round of row one of the arm so you can see I worked into that stitch to begin so I'm going to insert my hook there then I'm going to insert my hook whoop, there we go I'm going to insert my hook here yep right here at the base of this stitch so where I my first stitch was I'm going to insert my hook there and then I'm going to go ahead so we now have two we're working through two panels I'm going to go ahead and grab my yarn and from here we're going to go yarn over so lay the yarn on t like that and you're going to go ahead and pull that yarn through both of those panels I like to chain one because I just feel like it looks more neat so I like to chain one and now you're going to insert right back into where we just um, were working out of so you're going to insert right back through there and through both panels and you're going to yarn over and pull through you're going to make a single crochet so yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two and now we're going to work up the arm now the only thing to note is when you're working up the arm um, you'll have you have eight rows from your front um, your front panel and you have only seven rows from your back panel so what you're going to do is as you're working up the arm and I like to do it at different spots as I'm working up the arm so each of these um, so as I'm working up and down the arm, I like to do it in different little intervals, um, so that it looks so it doesn't look like there's a little, so you don't notice it. 
So I like to do it at different intervals so you don't notice the little uh, thing that we're going to do. So what you're going to do is you're just going to be working up the arm. You're going to go into the next stitch right here and then you're going to go into the next stitch here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go, okay, I'm going to insert my hook. You're just going to do the exact same thing for the first stitch. So you're going to insert your hook in the front and back panel. Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through too. So we're single crocheting up the panel. Now what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch on your top panel, but then into the same stitch on your back panel. And you're going to then just do a single crochet. So on your back panel, it looks like you did two single crochets into one stitch. But then in the front, it looks like you did um, one single crochet into each of those stitches. So now you're just going to continue working your way up to the top. Hopefully this is making sense as we're continuing to go along. So I find that when I'm working my way up, I like to do about one other than that little one, I'll call it increase, I like to do about one, um, one single crochet per row. Just about. And if you have, it doesn't really matter how many stitches you have as long as it looks even. So for me, I am at just about the top. So you can see that this was that one single crochet that we had left on both the front and back panel. So I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch on both panels. And then I like to do three single crochets into the top of the stitch. And now it's totally up to you, but I like to just do three stitches into that top. So we're working into the front and back panels three times just to make it look nice and crisp. And I, you can see I did that here and I just like how that looked. So that is what you're going to do. And now you're going to begin working down the side. So as I'm working down, I'm just pushing my little tails from the um, back front and back panels inside. And you're just going to begin working down. So you're going to insert your hook into that next stitch. Then you're going to find that next stitch on your back panel. For me, that's right here. So front panel, back panel, and then that loop. And you're going to yarn over and pull through. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through two, just like a single crochet would be. So it's a little bit tough, but you'll get the hang of it, and um, hopefully I'm making sense. So you're now you're just going to continue working down. So insert into the next stitch, and find that next stitch of the edging, make a single crochet. And then once you get at some point in your arm, you'll go into the next stitch of the pink and the next stitch of the purple. But then for the next for the next stitch after that, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch of the pink, but not into the next stitch, into that same stitch of the purple. So I'm just going to go ahead and work my way all the way around. So making sure to skip one of the front panel stitches on each side of the arm, and then doing three single crochets into the top of each of these arms. And I'm going to go ahead and finish it, and I'll meet you back. All right, I wanted to jump back on and mention two quick things. So number one, I found that I'm doing about eight stitches um, down and then I have about one stitch at the base and then eight stitches up, then my three stitches and then eight stitches down. So that's about what the repeat I found. And then number two is while you're doing these arms, you're gonna wanna stuff your arms. So I like to just grab a tiny little bit of stuffing. Then I like to grab um, a chopstick or you could use the back end of your crochet hook or whatever you want to do but I find if you break a little chopstick um, be careful to make it sure be careful so you don't snag anything with it but it really works super well so all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up between your two panels and you're just gonna push it into the leg that you want so I like to start with my finger and then I'm gonna grab my chopstick my broken little end because it it kind of grabs it better and you're just going to push up so you're going to grab that stuffing and push your way up and I like to stuff it as well as possible all the way down now I know that some people won't want to stuff it super well and that's totally fine you you decide what you want to do but I personally am a person that always loves to do a lot of stuffing to make sure things are always nice and stuffed. So 
That is what you're going to do all the way down, and you're going to do that for each arm. I like to complete one or two arms and then begin um, stuffing them, those two arms. And then as you continue working, you'll have to stuff the body, the main body part too, so right here. Um, but yeah, so just continue working around the um, arms then, um, and making sure to stuff as you go. And then I'll come back and right when we're close to getting done, I'll meet you and we'll finish stuffing this uh, body and then you will be done. Alright, so you can see that I have done all of these and I've stuffed the, all of the arms and I also stuffed the body. Now you can see that I'm on my last arm and what I'm going to show you how to do is I haven't stuffed this arm because it's hard to stuff it and then try to crochet over it. So as you're working down you're going to stuff it. So I just went up this side then I went down and I didn't finish because I'm just going to grab a little bit of stuffing, not very much, and I'm going to push that into the little tip right here. So I'm going to grab my little chopstick with the end broken off and you're just going to push in a little bit and try to kind of stuff that little area and make it kind of pop out. So there we go. I just added that little bit of stuffing. Perfect. Now you're going to keep going down. So I'm going to grab my yarn. There we go. Got wrapped around. And I'm just going to begin working my way down again. So single crocheting down. And then as you're working down, you'll just continue to um, add a little bit more stuffing as you go. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker out of there. And it looks like I pushed a little stuffing out the back. There we go. Um, so I'm just working down and you can see that's where I began. So now I have just a little hole left. So I'm going to grab a little more stuffing and I'm going to push it into there with my finger and then I'm going to grab my little chopstick of sorts and finish pushing it into there. Trying to fill it as well as possible but not having holes. And grab a little more and there we go. And then I'm just going to kind of fill up this little bit real quick. And I personally am a little bit of an overstuffer. Like I like to have my things really nice and firm. Um, but I know that different people are different ways. So you can totally do this however you like. Um, I'm just going to kind of add a little stuffing around at the base of the leg now. There we go. Push that in a little bit. And I'm going to call that good. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to finish those last like two single crochets. So I'm going to go through there and then through that stitch. Make a single crochet. And now it's getting a little hard to show this on camera and just a little hard to do the last stitch or two. but. There you go. And there's your last stitch. So we just finished the last stitch. Now I just like to slip stitch to the very first stitch to join. And then you can go ahead and grab your scissors, which my scissors seem to disappear. And you are done. So there you go. Um, that is what your little starfish should look like. And at this point, you have finished your starfish. One thing to know is that when you're done and you're looking and feeling back through, if you notice that, like, let's say here, it's a little understuffed compared to all these other spots, I'm just going to grab a little more stuffing. And I just like to go from the top with my little chopstick because I've noticed that it doesn't leave much for holes, but it kind of, kind of fill up the little um, spaces that don't have enough stuffing. So I just find a little spot to work into. So I just went between those two single crochets right there. And it will work really, really well to get you just a little more stuffing if you like. So hope you enjoy that little tip and your starfish is done.
Thank you so much for making this super fun crochet starfish along with me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to comment down below and tell me what colors you made this starfish in. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.